hi everyone welcome to my channel welcome if you've never watched any of my videos before if you're new here my name is melanie and i do a large variety of videos everything from vlogs trying things on camera for the first time small business hauls collective hauls beauty box unboxings experience videos and so much more today's video is a frequent video of mine typically once a month and it's from a small business called Whip Nice who predominantly sell wax melts. I typically order when they do the restock. The last restock was the last Friday in April, which was almost a week ago as I'm filming this. I got this on Thursday the 6th and I bought it on the 30th of April. There's been a bank holiday because typically it would arrive on the Wednesday and i spent quite a lot actually if you spend over 30 pounds you get free shipping she also does discount codes for 10 percent off but you can't use the 10 percent off if you spend over 30 you can only use the free shipping which saves you 425 so you actually get a better saving doing it that way but sometimes i don't want a lot like not the last order but the order before that i spent like 12 pounds and the last order was about 20 ish i think that was with ship no it worked with shipping and I didn't plan on spending as much as I have, but I have done. So let's get into it and let's see what I've got. So it comes like this. It's got this cute sticker on that says, Opening this package will cause extreme happiness. My dress was the... On here is the postage thing. And then there's the sign thing over there. But I'm not going to show you them. So this is what happens when you open it. You normally get an invoice so you get to see what you've ordered then there's always packing peanuts there's normally some kind of extra in so we've got a sticker that says the future is ahead then we normally get some form of sweets this time we have got some mawam pinballs are they chewing gums or actual hard candy i don't know but I'm always grateful to get sweets because I'm on a sweet ban and have been since the start of the year where I can't buy any sweets. I can have chocolate and crisps and stuff, but any kind of sweets I'm not allowed to buy. But I'm allowed to eat them if they come in an order, so always grateful. Then there is a sample in the Scents Blonde Moment. I, oh, I've not had this for years. It smells like that shampoo, I think. I think that's what it's a dupe of, the Aussie shampoo. That's absolutely gorgeous. Now this is my order. That's the most expensive thing. If you saw last month, I had a mega cram. I'm still going through it. I've used um, a lot of it though. I've got a lucky bag, which I've not had for a long time because I did go off them because I was getting a lot of scents that I didn't really want. And I've got a new product that I've wanted the last few times, but I've not got... And I've got this. I got one of these last time in a different scent. I got banana candy, was it called? Banana bubblegum, um, which is gorgeous. I've only used about half of that so far. So this is orange and purple. So this is the scent exotic martini, which is porn star martini or passion fruit martini, as it's sometimes known. And I really like that cocktail and this literally smells like it it's gorgeous gorgeous bright color and literally i can smell it without putting it near me makes me want to eat it look at that packaging can you see it's iridescent this is a slab i can't remember the official name of it but i almost got one last month um and it's a big slab of um wax and this is violet bellini which part of me thinks it's gonna smell like passion fruit but uh, martini the one that i've just opened but i hope it doesn't i mean i'm not bothered if it does but it would have been nice to get a different scent but i'm gonna sniff it i love the packaging i've not seen anything like this before it's very funky oh it's totally different it smells like pie and um, parma violet yeah it smells like parma violet 
and it's lilac with like neon yellow bits in it because when you're looking at it through the packaging you can't tell they're neon yellow but they are so that's quite a big lump of wax then i got then i got the mega clam and it's the spring clean mega clam all the colours. Look at the bow. That's such a pretty bow. So they're all like laundry inspired ones. Oh, it's just been opened and it smells gorgeous. So there's tropical surfing, which is the tropical surf, um, pink elegance, anti-back, wild blue bell and bergamot, fresh skies, outdoor fresh, island breeze, pink topaz summer breeze and ocean pearl when you read the scent descriptions it basically tells you which laundry detergent it is like summer conditioners summer cleaning products summer like laundry like tabs and liquids so if you want to know which ones they are if you can't work it out check out the scent descriptions on the website that smells gorgeous now there is a few cleaning scents that i don't like i hate fresh linen and I hate the flash bathroom scent. It's too strong. Um, but I don't think either of them are in here from memory. I like to use like laundry inspired scents when I'm actually cleaning the house or actually doing laundry. So can't wait to try these. They look amazing. And I found a sticker saying do what you love. And another Mawam. Is that radish? Oh, it's sour. I think it's sour cherry. And I got a lucky bag. I've not had one of these for months. They were getting a bit much, you know, like I was getting all these wax melts in them and some of the scents I didn't love or really want. And I've ended up with too much wax melts. Like I've still got too many. I need to start burning more and like get rid of some basically. But this month, the pictures that she was showing, it looked amazing. It looked like you got um, body shop goodies in the bag. Whether or not I do or not, we'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to not look. I'm just going to grab one and pull it out. Oh, that's quite a good one. So we have one of these segment pots, kind of like... Um, I don't know how to describe that colour. A pale caramel colour with lilac. I'm intrigued to see what the scent is. Crunch Berry Crisp. That was a Christmas scent from memory. Oh god, it smells gorgeous. Oh, it smells like some kind of food I've had before, but I literally can't tell you what it is. But that's gorgeous. Then we've got a bag of smelly beans in the scent Bakery Dreamland. Oh, smells like Danishes or something, but not like a really sweet Danish, like like a bit like cinnamon roll, which I absolutely love. That's what that smells like, a bit like cinnamon roll. Could be wrong, but that's the scent I get from it. Then we've got another one of these. Look at the colour. That's a gorgeous green. And it's in the scent Sugar Rush, which I don't believe I've had. Ooh. That actually matches my jumper. This is good. Ooh. Guys, I've had this before and it's been called something else. I don't, from some, like, another business. Oh, I can't remember what it is. I can't remember what it is, but it's been called something else by another business. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I definitely don't have any of this at the moment. Then we've got one of these in Blonde Moments. And now I have two... Which I can't complain about because I actually do. I actually do really like the scent. Then we've got these gorgeous ones. 
gorgeous blue in barbershop i think it smells like old spice or something i don't know if i'm gonna like this i'll be honest Smells like a shaving gel. That's what it smells like. I actually don't mind that, so I would use that. I got another one shot pot in Confectionery Dreamland. This is what I had. Oh my god, it smells like the most beautiful sweets. God, there's quite a lot in here. You never used to get this amount. There is a bag of Haribo Star Mix and I didn't get a body shop item but I got the bubble tea cleansing hand gel in confetti. Um, I've had a hand sanitizer before but I don't know where I've put it. I think I got a, a super drug one. Don't know where that is, I need to find that. But let's have a sniff of this. Oh it's sealed but can I get the lid off? It's sealed so I can't, I can't tell you but that's the last item in the lucky bag. So in the lucky bag you get one of them, two of them, these are £3 a pack by the way, three of them so you've got £9 worth. These are about two fifty, so that's eleven fifty. These were a pound, twelve fifty, thirteen fifty. Oh, that one in there, thirteen fifty. Then that, and then that. This is probably one of the best I've ever had. Normally, you get like ten, eleven pounds worth in there, but this definitely exceeds that. And I love all the scents. Like I've actually got stuff that I've never had, and stuff that I may never have got. Like I wouldn't have got barbershop that's the lucky bag so that is everything i've got i haven't put the stickers back on there but i've kind of run out of space that is a lot the mega clam alone of either 1450 or 1550 in fact i've got the invoices so i can tell you how much they are 14 pound 50 but you do get 10 you do get 10 so it was fourteen fifty, but you do get ten large chunks of wax, and they could easily be broken into four pieces. So that's what I've been doing basically. So if you can't afford to buy a lot of stuff and you want quite a few cents, that's a good way to get ten different cents. You can break each one into four, so you do get a lot of your money. The lucky bags are a pound. The lucky bags are ten pounds. They always have been. The chunky beanie bar, that's that big chunk, is three pound fifty. The funky flower clams are three pound fifty. So that was thirty one fifty. Four twenty five for shipping, but if you put in three Dell, if you spent over thirty, you get the four twenty five off. So we got that all for thirty one fifty. I now need to make sure I use it. I also need to use up what I've also already got. And I've also, I think I showed you in a video, the big bag of wax melts that I have by Wick Nice, but the, a lot of them are Christmas scents, and I don't particularly want to start burning my Christmas scents in, in May, but I, I've got them ready to start using them like early November, like end of October time. Well, I'd say early November. So I've got them for that. But I'm really happy with it. I love the Mega Clams. I got the first original one that she ever did. I think it was around last July time and it was a cocktail one it was my favorite one to date except for i really like the one we got last month and this month i like because it's cleaning scents and i do love a cleaning scent on days where i'm either cleaning doing some kind of housework or i'm doing laundry i just love it um especially if it's a really nice laundry one i love to put it on when like i'm, I'm washing clothes so i'm really happy with that I love that big block it does smell like parma violets and yeah it's massive for three pound fifty i'm honestly really happy with everything like sometimes 
I'm not 100% happy with things. I'm like, oh, I like it. Because I do like it. I just don't love it. But everything here, I genuinely, absolutely love. And I love that I got um one of those hand sanitizers by Bubble Tea. I used to have, have a Bubble Tea subscription. They do a shower gel subscription. But getting two big tubes of shower gel every month, I um, ended up with too many because you can't go through two. Like, if there's a family of four, you could probably get through two tubes a month, but I couldn't. But they were really good quality ones, so I'm glad I've got that. I do actually have a hand sanitizer somewhere from Wick Nice. I don't know where I've put it. It's potentially in here. I mean, this room's just, oh, God, you, like, you literally don't want to, you don't want to know. I don't want to know. But, yeah, I'm really, really happy. I definitely recommend going and checking out Wick Nice. There's still some stuff on the website. Obviously, I'm filming this. And I don't know when it's going to go up. I can't remember when I put the last one up. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. If you're new to my channel or you watch my videos but you still like to subscribe, please subscribe. And it help me get to 400 subscribers. Don't forget to also press the bell notification button. That way you'll get an alert every time I upload a similar video. I'll be back hopefully very soon with another video. Hope everyone's doing okay. I hope May is going well for you so far. And thank you for watching.